In this video, I'll show how to update your version of MailWiz. I'm logged into my MailWiz backend, and if there's an update available, I'll see it listed here at the top while on any page. I can scroll to the bottom of any page to see the current version listed in the footnote. In my case, version 1.5.8. I can set up my account to have updates performed automatically, or I can do updates manually. For automatic updates, as long as my MailWiz account is valid, I can open Settings and choose Common. Here is where I can turn on Auto Updates. Be sure to read the warning text before enabling Auto Updates. And you should also have a backup in place for your MailWiz data. This text has a link to purchase MailWiz's own backup manager. If Auto Updates are enabled, then the system will check my license version each day at midnight and install updates when needed. I'll get an email confirmation each time this happens. There's no need to worry about auto-updates occurring while a campaign is sending. During the upgrade, MailWiz will freeze all processes and start back up after the update is complete. Many MailWiz users prefer to install updates manually. To complete the update, I need to start with a zip file that contains the update version. In my example, I have a file in my downloads folder called mailwiz-1.6.3.zip. When I extract the zip contents, I have two folders, Update and Latest. The contents of Latest were used when first installing MailWiz, and this time I need the files inside Update. Here's the file structure of Update. I can log into cPanel to see my current file structure for MailWiz. I'll open File Manager, find the public HTML folder, and open Newsletter, which is where I have MailWiz installed. The file structure inside Newsletter nearly matches the update files, and it's the files inside Update that need to go into Newsletter, overwriting what's currently here. The best way to do this is to upload the new files via FTP. I'm using the FileZilla client, and here on the right I have my Newsletter folder open. On the left, I've browsed to the Update folder in my extracted zip file. I'll select everything on the left and drag it into Newsletter on the right. I'll choose Overwrite for the action for identical files, and choose to always use this action. There are a lot of files here, and after a bit of time, the file overwrite is complete. Now when I refresh my MailWiz dashboard, I have an update notification at the top. This notification also mentions that if my database is large, it's better to run the update from the command line, and instructions for doing this are listed here as well. Or, to update from here, I can just click Start Update Process, and now the update is complete. I can see the new version listed at the bottom as well.